Wallow too. Just me and the dog. Dog is like right here. All up in my business. We're here. Me and him. We're here to talk about The Whistle. By Eudora Welty. This was a silly story. <laughs> um, We have this couple. Who are in bed sleeping. And it's cold. It's really cold. Um, and... Uh, they're, they're all wrapped up in their, their blanket and everything. And, um, there's a whistle that blows. It's, um, probably not going to find that. I probably should have, should have thought about looking at beforehand. But, uh, the name of the whistle. Anyways, there's a, a gentleman that blows a whistle when... I guess it it's freezing, so you can go out and cover your your plants. So I get up, they go out to their field and cover all their plants with everything they got, including the clothes on their back. They get back inside the house and they're cold. They're freezing. They throw some wood on the fire, and it, it burns up. And then they throw some chunkier wood. Uh, that they've been saving for winter and it got all burnt up. So then they start throwing <laughs> their chairs in there. I got zo zooming going on. I forgot to turn my phone on uh, on silent. I apologize. Um, They throw their chairs in there. That gets burnt down. They throw their table in there and that burns. They throw their bed in there and it burns. And then they don't have anything else to burn. So they're just sitting in the room all cold and uh, <laughs> just listening to the whistle. Knowing they are now screwed. Speaking of which, it's super duper windy outside. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but the wind is hitting my windows and making my windows vibrate. So if you hear a weird sound that sounds like a woodpecker is sitting in my room <laughs> it's my it's my windows vibrating it is crazy when i'm actually recording this tuesday um t's and p's out there for anyone out in north central iowa nebraska texas like half the country has tornadoes going on right now so hopefully you are being safe of course by the time this goes up it'll be two days later but hopefully you're safe hopefully the storms that happened yesterday that hasn't happened yet <laughs> supposed to be another round of storms throughout most of the country tomorrow hopefully all or t yesterday or hopefully hopefully all storms this week, you uh, you are safe. But yeah, it's it just kind of funny because anybody who's ever done a bonfire, no, you throw an all nighter on there, you're good for several hours. So I would assume that um, by the time you throw a chair on the fire and a table and your bed frame and everything, they they got. They should have been good for a long time. They should have been good for a long time with just throwing a chair on the fire, you would think. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know. It was kind of silly. I mean, it wasn't terrible. I mean, it was it was silly, but not in a bad way silly. It was it was entertaining. I enjoyed it. Um, kind of wondered what the point was. Um but um, probably something along the lines of don't get greedy. But I know, uh, you know this morning I woke up and I, was, I had the windows open, so I turned off the heat. I forgot to turn the heat back on. It was 40 degrees this morning, so I know. I think I kind of feel like, I kind of know what they, uh, what they feel like. Cause I did not want to get out of bed because it was freezing inside the house. So, yeah. Dora Walty, The Whistle. Have you read it? Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it overall. It was silly. Doesn't, um, I mean, it, it, I, I don't think Eudora Walty ever built a fire in her life. 
because, I mean, it would have been one heck of a bonfire that uh, they would have had going on in their living room. But, you know, it was a fun little story. So, uh, the next one, The Hitchhikers. Sounds delicious. Let's see here. The Hitchhikers. It's, an, it, it's a little bit longer. It, it, it's a whole whopping 13 pages, so... That's it for this one, peeps. Stay safe out there. Cheers.